So here I'm going to go ahead and talk about calling functions and passing arguments to functions. So I've set up a basic HTML5 page and I already have my script tags in there. I'm putting the scripts inside the body so we can, um, in theory, load the document object model. And uh, I say in theory because there's really nothing to, to load at this time. But we'll load the HTML first and then we have our script. Now within our scripts, if I want to pass an argument to a function, the first thing I want to do is um, typically create that function. So I'll type up the keyword function and then I, gotta, um, I need to give that function a name. I'll call it my function. Of course, that's an arbitrary name. I actually use um, camel, new, um, camel syntax there. And so this my function name, it could be uh, any name as long as it's not a keyword. I'll have opening and closing parenthesis, opening and closing curly bracket. And the information for my function will go inside the opening and closing curly bracket. What I mean is that the, um, the lines of code that will be executed every time I call the function are between the opening and closing curly bracket. Now you can have the, the opening and clo closing cur curly bracket like this. You could have um, them on separate lines like that. Uh, you could have this down below one line. That would be fine. Uh, and then you can have it all on the same line like this. All right, so you can do that. Um, and then inside the parentheses is where you put your argument. This is where you put information that you're going to use within the scope of the function. You're going to use that information um, and process that within your function. So I will go ahead and have a carriage return here. And I'm just going to do an alert. First, I'm going to put the argument in here, and I'll call it my content, and then I'll do an alert on my content. So the argument, really, what it is, is a local variable. This is just a variable called my content, and you could swap that out. You could make that equal to x. On line 11, you just have to change that to be x. It just has to be the same variable name. So data that you create and send to my function will be accepted and it will be stored inside this name, whatever name you choose, as long as it's not a keyword. And now you can reference that throughout the life of your function. So again, I just call it my content. Come down here and call it my content. Make sure I have the same name. And then uh, I am going to create a variable. Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call my function is what I'm gonna do. So I'll call the function, have to say that name, have the opening and closing parentheses. And it looks a little bit like alert. It looks a little bit like a prompt method or an alert method. Essentially, it's similar in that uh, alert and prompt are built-in functions for JavaScript. Now, uh, my function in this case on line 15 is a user-defined function that I have created. All right, so I can now just have a simple hello world and then that should work. So I save that out. And now I can run that within Firefox, uh, show the output result. And you can see I just get a simple hollow world in that case. All right. Now, this, uh, this line of code, my function, can be called. OK, so what I mean to say, you can call the function. You can use that statement on line 11 to call the function before the function uh, is, is declared there on line 12. The reason why is because in reality, it actually is being declared within the browser prior to it being called because the way that the, the JavaScript loads into memory is that it's gonna load all the functions into memory first. And then it goes back through and it iterates through um, line by line of your JavaScript code um, in sequential order. So those functions are actually in memory first. However, um, with that in mind, it's still a good idea to always call your functions after they've been declared. There can occasionally be a problem with the scope of variables if you were to call a function before it's declared. Um, so that's something to keep in mind.